Stephen, how did you look back on your first game in charge? I enjoyed it. I thought um, we seen some positive signs from the team. Um, I think it was a tough first 10, 15 minutes. A bit of a battle. That's what Millwall tend to drag you into. So we stood up to that really well. And then I think as the game settled down, we started to see some things that we'd spoken about in the week, but what we wanted. So, yeah, it's a point. It's probably a positive point. But I think on the reflection of the whole game, um, we'd probably be the ones who probably deserve to win the game. What positives do you take away from the performance? We got into some really good areas. We, um, we created a few chances, and I know Millwall do what they did. They they defended the goal really well. They got blocks in, um, things that went out for a corner, loads of times. Um, just need sometimes a bit of a look to go for it in the box. But um, and then when we put the set pieces in, uh, they defended them really well. So I was really pleased with the control that we had, especially in the second half. There was a period there after half time where we were well on top. We had the momentum and the crowd got going, and you could see what we were trying to do. So. That was good, but uh, when we have them type of spells, we obviously need to score. But um, unfortunately today we just couldn't do it. You've obviously not had long with the players, but what have been the message to the players over the last few days? Um, to just try and like, first of all, speak about our standards of how we want to train. That's the most important thing for us. Like, if we get the training field right, if we get the building right, um, then we've got a chance to get the performances on on the match day right. So that has been the first message. And then we said in possession, we need to try and be brave and be positive and run forward now. That takes a lot of hard work and a lot of effort, so that's going to need the intensity of, um, of the training sessions to improve so we can play at that kind of tempo throughout the game. And then on Friday we spoke about trying to be disciplined and organised, out, out of possession and compete for things, and I think we definitely did that today. So not an easy team to play against Millwall, and we stood up to everything that they threw at us. And yeah, they only had one shot on goal, and it would have broke my heart. Last minute if that had gone in, but credit to Jack, he kept it out the net and got Luke out of trouble. So. Yeah, please and point, we move on. How pleased were you with the support you received from the fans today? Yeah, brilliant. Brilliant reception, obviously before the game and even after the game. As we said when I come here, we want um, we want our fans to sort of connect with the team and see a performance that they can be proud of. And I feel, feel as though the effort was definitely there today. Um, some of the quality was there. We obviously would need that to improve. Um, but the way they stayed behind and clapped the players off showed that um, they probably appreciated the performance. Yeah, it wasn't perfect. Definitely wasn't, but um, we'll keep trying and keep trying to get better. Move on to Birmingham on Boxing Day. What will the next few days look like? So yeah, we'll have to get the players in tomorrow and recover. Um, yeah, and which obviously was a big shift after a lot of people have said the the Wooter and, and Josh coming off and them little injuries that we had um, sort of disrupted our flow a little bit. But um, but yeah, just try and recover as best as we can. Try and get the game plan right for Birmingham City because it's going to be another tough game in a couple of days' time, so we have to be ready to go again.